am Dr. Swachla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Adenomyosis and its connection to infertility has been proven. Let's try to understand what it is. Well, the uterus has a lot of layers, the myometrium, the endometrium and the issue with adenomyosis is that endometrium, which is the innermost layer of the uterus during uh, just before a period sheds and bleeds out. So basically it is a response to the fact that you're not pregnant suppose that the egg that has released during ovulation has not been fertilized by the sperm and there is no embryo formed there is no implantation in the uterus then the uterus begins to understand that the endometrium which has uh, now built up a lot of blood supply for an upcoming potential embryo which is not happening need not be in that state and it starts to shed so the uterus sheds and comes out like a period now in an adenomyosis this endometrium invaginates into the muscle layer of the uterus so it goes inside and becomes a very hard mass and depending on the areas that it is present depending on the area size that it is covering and how many small parts it has it affects the endometrium now it's very critical to remember that it's much like endometriosis it's like a little sister to endometriosis and depending on the hormonal levels just like endometriosis reacts to periods even adenomyosis can so you can have a lot of pain, you can have uh, irregular bleedings or too much bleeding. All these are associated with adenomyosis. So you must remember that it is much like endometriosis. So how is it diagnosed? Now there are wonderful scan machines now, good MRIs, a radiologist or a gynecologist can do a scan and see uh, this invagination of this endometrium into the muscle wall of the uterus and make out that it is an adenomyosis. Now based on that, then we see what is the problem that it's causing. Maybe the blood flow to the endometrium is not good and therefore there is a very thin endometrium which is not good for an embryo. So if an embryo is formed naturally or through our fertility treatment, there is no blood flow in the endometrium which is very important for the embryo to implant. So maybe that's causing, so that's one of the reasons. Maybe the adenomyosis are so many that there is no implantation site, as in there is no site for the uh, embryo to implant. You can see here, maybe there are so many sites of adenomyosis that the embryo doesn't know where to implant because the blood flow is compromised in the uh, endometrium. So that's the issue with, it can also block uh, the tubes depending on where it is present the tubes may be blocked which are very important for uh, sperm and egg to meet and the embryo to come back into the endometrium for in implantation so adenomyosis is a serious issue and depending on its severity it can also affect infertility and the treatment options vary then treatment options are basically two whether with it's by medication or by surgery the doctor decides based on the severity medication is basically uh, to give you something that will slow down the blood flow that will bring down the blood flow so um, contraceptives can be given or mirena can be put in it's a device which brings down the bleeding or uh, surgical uh, intervention wherein all these parts which are uh, invaginated the adenomyosis can be removed laparoscopically so these are the treatment options but everything is decided by your gynecologist after seeing how severe the problem is therefore if you have discomfort in your stomach if you have scanty periods or if you have too heavy periods if you have pain during periods which is uncontrollable you should get yourself checked they will do an ultrasonography or an mri and decide how severe the problem is and how to treat it if you want to understand more about this please feel free to contact us thank you a lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.